Itching the Fish here, and I want to share with you my personal PFD. And it was cheap. So, as far as the details go, I just want to go through all the options that, that this spider wire fishing PFD has on it. So, let's start from the top. It does have two uh, shoulder adjustment straps, you know, pretty standard. On the back, it does sit high off my back and it doesn't interfere with my Radar 115C. So that's a positive. This part is pretty thick, but hey, you're getting a flotation device. You want to float. I weigh 230 pounds. I wanna make sure I float when I hit the water. Right? Yes. Okay, so let's go through the features on this. As you notice, right off the gate, I do have this uh, uh, adjustable little cord here that you can tether something off to. I personally uh, put my boomerang snips on here. It's good for fishing line and braid. So usually I'll have that there when needed. So A, this stretches, then B, this extends as well to looks about two and a half to three feet total. So very important to have with you. All right, on this side, I do uh, have a little carabiner. I have my safety whistle. If you are doing kayak fishing, you have to have one of these on your personal flotation device. It's a must. Most tournaments don't let you fish without one. So make sure you get one of these. This was uh, $2 at austinkayak.com. Really inexpensive safety feature. And also on this, I use this more when I go crappie fishing. This uh, mainly because on these snips, or these fingernail clippers, it's got the little, it's got a little jig eye puncture nail where if that paint kind of rolled over on that jig eye, you can <laughs> pop it out. All right, so I love these clippers. Most of the time I use this for fishing line and all that snipping. Use these to uh, clean out the eye of a jig head as well as clip some fishing line off. All right, so let's go to the uh, pockets. Now this one's kind of different on the... Uh, zipping features so first of all this is how you get into it this main zipper here and then you have to swing this over so it's kind of weird but it's effective and then you zip it together so that's how you get this um, strapped up so uh, it does have a here's a pocket here here's a little tethering anchor section here it's got two right here on the other side uh, we have another pocket here. I wish these zipped up, but hey, this was a cheap PFD. What can you expect? And then uh, also has two little tie points on the bottom. It's got a zipper pocket right here. Most time in this pocket, I'll keep my fishing license on standby, as well as like a tournament tag or something like that, depending on what I'm fishing. On this other side, it's got this pocket as well as zipper. Usually I put my cell phone in here and have it close to by me when I need to take a picture of that bass I just caught. Yeah. All right, so in this pocket, I do put my cell phone in this pocket to have it close by when I need it. All right. So uh, here we have the workbench, the work area of this personal flotation device and up here as you notice there is some little places you can mount things to like a knife or you know for example this uh, this whistle it has one of those clamps on it too but I just go ahead and just carabiner off that way I can pop it off real quick and um, won't lose it either because this could easily slide out and I don't think this is going to float too well and also on this you have two front little pockets right here as well all right on the inside this is where a lot of the stuff goes down so we'll unzip this here you have a workbench check it out now currently I have you know when I go crappie fishing I'll actually use this little mat foam piece for my jigs so it's real handy because you know when you're crappie fishing if you're not breaking off you're not crappie fishing so you gotta have plenty of jig hooks ready on standby when you're crappie fishing. But usually bass fishing, I won't use this too often. Maybe I'll put a wacky rig worms there or, you know, maybe some uh, 
offset hooks, extra wide gap, something in there, but not too often. Uh, I do keep my pliers in this main pocket here. Most of the time I won't hardly unzip this all the way down, so they're protected. For example, when I'm out in the water, I'll have it, I'll just halfway zip it down, grab my pliers real quick, and get them out of the fish's mouth if I need to. Most of the time, I don't have this all the way out. Now, inside this, when you're kayak fishing, especially in a tournament, you want to keep this in mind. Uh, right here, I have two permanent markers. You know, one just in case the ink runs out or, you know, have backup on standby. Um, or if you're out in the water and you, your hand's getting wet and it's getting a little uh, blurry, then you can adjust it. So some permanent markers. I do have a green one, just another backup. So you have this big main pocket right here that you can fit stuff down into it. These pliers, these are six inches. They'll actually fit all the way down in there as well. So uh, I can even do that if I want a little more security versus using this flap. But uh, in here, this little zip pocket, I do have a, it's not a kayak safe knife, that's why I keep it in here, but it is a knife I keep on me just in case I need to cut out something. So that's nice to have. It's just a little small pocket. You can fit some uh, chapstick in there. Um, up above here, I got two tools. I got some uh, garlic spike it scent you know so if i'm crappie fishing or i am you know bass fishing i want to put a little chartreuse on a bait maybe the tip or something i can use this versus jj's magic so this is just a little quick marker pen also i have my wacky tool in that same pocket so i got some rubber uh, bands on the end already and i just keep my wacky t wacky rig tool right here in that same pocket as well all right so that's what I keep all in this pocket here. So very, very handy. Now here's why I'm sharing this with you. I know, uh, you know, the NRS Chinook is a nice life vest, for example. You know, the starting price is $100. So with this life jacket, I got from Wally World, actually. It's got a lot of features, you know, some pros and cons for sure, but this life jacket only costed me $60. Versus 109 just base price for NRS Chinook uh, life vest. So really inexpensive life vest with plenty of attachment features to it and a nice little workbench that will meet all my needs for kayak fishing. You know, down the road I'll probably upgrade eventually, but I bought this right when I started kayak fishing. I'm going to wait till it wears out or just rips apart. But just to quickly run through everything, it does sit high on my back. If you uh, look at the uh, you know, fishing video I'll attach to this video, you'll see it gives me some clearance on my seat and it's not binding my back into place. It does have a workbench. It's got plenty of attachment features as well and plenty of pockets. You know, some of the negatives though on this life jacket, I do wish, you know, like the NRS Chinook, for example, it doesn't have this crazy thing flap in the middle you know your all your pockets are on the sides and you have the main zipper down the middle so yeah you know that's a definitely a positive to me but for the price and this floats and with all the pockets and the available spacing for gear you can't beat sixty dollars so uh this is itching to fish i'm signing out i just want to share with you my personal flotation device